I'm Tom from Do It Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at how to add additional wired ports to your Google Wi Fi router. So, I've shown in other videos how I use the Google Wi Fi router, and I basically um, plug this, plug one of these into my cable modem where it comes into my house, and then I have other ones all over the house that connect through their mesh networking function. And then I have an Ethernet cable going into the wired port on the back and then that connects into my um, different computers and other electronics that need a wired port um, somewhere else in the house. So that way I don't need to be running Ethernet cable all over, but I can still have a wired connection. And I've also shown in other videos that that remote wired connection is actually really, really fast, almost as fast as a wired connection. Um, so it's a really great way to have a, have a wired port basically anywhere in the house um, that you want to put your Google Wi-Fi router. But one of the challenges is what if you have multiple devices that you want to plug in to one Google Wi-Fi router, like here I have all of these hubs in my garage here um, for my home automation system, how do I plug them all in without having to get a separate Google Wi-Fi hub for each of the devices? And it's actually really simple, all you need is a switch, like this Netgear switch I have here. These are probably about 30 to $50, um, and it's not a router, it's a switch, so basically um, I have my Google Wi-Fi. I have one Ethernet cable coming out of the wired port on the back. That cable goes into the switch over here. And then all of the other ports on the switch are filled with additional Ethernet cables that run to my hubs, uh, my Rainforest hub, my Philips Hue hub, smart things, all that kind of stuff um, over here. And basically if you just plug that one Ethernet port uh, in, back, in the back here and then plug into your switch, um, the switch is able to take all of those different uh, cables and run all of that Ethernet through that one port on the back of the Google Wi-Fi. Um, so that's how you add additional wired ports to a Google Wi-Fi router. And again, it's a great way to have as many ports as you need anywhere in your house without having to run Ethernet cable and without having to put them near where your cable modem comes in. And if you look at the videos about my speed tests for Google Wi-Fi, you'll see it's super fast. So it's a great solution, not only for hubs and things, but also if you have multiple computers or things you need to plug in in an office or a media center and that kind of thing. Uh, if you found this helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps.